Alright, well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna start the match right now. So, here we go. And Gegner versus Chocolate Goblin, second quarter final match uh, of Steel Rival Season 2. These teams are playing for a semi final spot, so let's see what's going to happen here. Um, Ferengian Guards banned by and Gegner, and Fagnetti Gunners banned by Chocolate Goblin. Uh, Grits, let me know what you're seeing with the units, and I'm very curious to know what's going to be played. Okay, let's see. I'll go over the hero classes first because I'm seeing a lot of uh, short swords and malls there on Chocolate Goblin's side, a couple of pikes, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Why are they playing three glaives? Yep, I'm wondering, there's so many glaives there, right? So bad, Gaba and XCOM, yep. I mean, malls and Chocolate Goblins, I understand. Mm -hmm. Short swords, I also understand. But three glaives on the... It's a bad match, isn't it? Interesting, also on... <laughs> Let's see, a lot of flamers definitely on the Chocolate Goblin side, a lot of Fort Rachel also, and some Imperial Shields, which we don't see on Endgegner. Endgegner's playing a lot of the for it, the Reapers, Shield yeah, yeah. made in Fort Rachel, and also Claymores. Yeah. Didn't show how much Cav Chocolate Goblin have. Yeah, not that many, not that many. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, actually, the Claymores are a unit that especially field teams are really big on um, because their for freedom skill also uh, reduces damage for all units around it. You see, every team started with a different setup yep. just to not show what uh, they will use in exactly. first phase. Yeah, you gotta make sure you hide some of those. Alright, yeah. game started, guys. Let's go. Uh, turn the overlay on and we're live. Let's see where those units go, because that will tell everything. All right. I do get a feeling they're going to retreat to the base, so like you said, uh, Gris. Yep, all right, so all units are going back for Chocolate Goblin. Uh, we're gonna get a couple of minutes to talk about all the units that they have been picked, uh, Gris, and see what we're expecting here. Um, I know that Susno especially really enjoys playing with the Zekalian. Um We see two of those again, even on the attackers. I see two Liaos and Chevaliers, three Liaos on Susno or on the uh, Endgegner side. Cataphracts, also Cataphracts and Monastic. So there's about seven to eight Cav on Endgegner. Yep. Like I said, Chocolate Goblin's not gonna defend uh, mm -hmm. the NC. Yep. Yeah, they're already full retreating. Yeah, so Endgaker is already getting the point. So they're probably gonna open the gate from the inside. Make sure to get in, they can capture supplies. So they're gonna have 20 minutes to get this final point. No delays. <laughs> okay. They didn't even uh, break the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's true. In bridge. Yeah, I guess there's no point in wasting Yeah, there's no point now. <laughs> yeah, you can get in, the supplies are closed, so it's all good. Oh, you need the shield main is gonna make sure they run quickly there. All right, first couple losses there for Chocolate Goblin. Some shield maidens were lost in the process. <laughs> all right, so C point is being captured. B point should also be captured quite quickly. Yeah, by novelty in XCOM. Okay. Let's see. Not sure. Do they have flames? Where are the flames? Yeah, so for Chocolate Goblin, they have Jude Banger with the flames on the right side. Okay, I see the flames. Yep. One guy, Jude Banger. Oh, okay. there's another one. He's inside the uh, fortress hey. there. That's the same as you guys did, uh, Guild Chocolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a very creative way of using those uh, flames. It worked really well there. I think Overlook uh, took those. Yeah, yeah. Overlook. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was burning a lot of units there. It's, uh, Overlook is one of the specialist players. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's always good to see those guys. Alright, so we didn't see you, uh, both of you, your teams in your match, uh, really defend this center wall. Uh, the high ground. I, I always feel like the high ground is really important here because if you get the we, Zekalian we did, there, right? We did defend. We did ah, defend yeah, that's, that's true. You did. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. So they, they didn't. They, they didn't. didn't. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. My memory they're is pushing. short. All right, they're pushing indeed. Let's see. Whoa. Only with heroes, you see. Yeah, but so just the heroes, but they can't get in there. That's for the virtual yeah. flamers. 
Yeah, they, they're killing the Sanjis. Okay, very nice. Yep. Nice. Okay. Get there. It's also going Did to be a big many? trap, I think. Uh, yes, yes. The trap will Oh, yep. That's a couple Shenjis, heroes, maybe a Reaper or two. Sobek's going down, though. Oh, nice, nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another unit there was killed. Some more Shenji. They're not getting into the tower, although, oh, maybe they are. Oh, great burn there with the shield mains together inside the big tower because Endgame almost got in there. Did they kill any flames? I'm gonna have to wait and see. I don't think so. There's at least one unit still at seven. And I do think they got a lot of. Alright, so a lot of shield maidens were hurt. No, it's the one unit of Shenji is done. That's Kaisa. Kaisa has no unit of Shenji. Both flames alive though. But nothing lost for Endgegner. I mean, you can do this a couple times. There's no death limit, no RT. Yeah. Six Reapers, half of unit of Shield Maidens. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did, they did good. Yeah, they absolutely got a lot of stuff there. I don't know if they worked it, but one unit of Sench, maybe. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Alright, so for the lineup, let's see. So Chuck the Goblin have got triple big shields, then two units of Flamers, another unit of Shenji is now out from all of her. They have at least four or five Shield Maidens, and then they're for Tavaccio. What do you see with N Gegner? Uh? And Gegner. Mm. Why I see some martyrs. What the hell? <laughs> Are they actually Should switching their units right now? Reapers. Uh, two, three units of shield maidens on the left side, the left gate, one forte. One unit of Reaper. And See some shields on the bridge. Shield made the Senji. Reapers, Senji. And yeah. some Cav waiting on the right side. Yeah, exactly. It looks like uh, Endgame is definitely speeding up, uh, right? Yeah. It's... Uh, ah. They close the gate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they take their time. They have like 14 minutes. Yeah. Oh, Endgame is going okay. into oh, the big tower. For the yep. tower. Nice. They're going quickly. That's really That's nice smart move. here. If they don't, the chocolate goblins, if they don't react, they're gonna lose there. Exactly. Alright, right, the rest of Endgame are still waiting, so they're really trying to fight hard inside this tower. I'm gonna try and get in there. Okay. Oh, it's such a close fight here, but there's little shoot lane is from Endgame there, uh, or chocolate uh, goblin. So it looks like. They managed, they managed yeah, to win yeah, it. Managed, managed yeah, yeah, goblin them. managed to win it there. Endgame are not. Pu yeah, they're pulling back, they're pulling back. They don't want to get this fight, so that was kind of like a suicide pooch. I mean, the advantage they just gained from the dive is now gone, right? It was, it was a suicide push. I don't think it was supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. And they're switching units again, and again, plenty of time, right? So, as you can see, flamers being swept out, I think. Yeah, flamers are gone, and for Tavaccio instead. I don't see Sanjis from uh, Chocolate Goblins. No, they don't have. So the the smart move for Endgegner now it was uh, it will be to push from the left side. Yeah. They don't have anything to to stop them there. Yeah. They I just need to to block the flames in the tower because the flames will go down. Yeah, exactly. All over the golden just put out the Shenji though, so they are on top of the the bridge again. Oh yeah yeah. 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 So that will be hard now. Interesting how it uh, looks like the Chocolate Goblin got a really good setup that Endgegner don't want to just fight into. And they're really using this high ground effectively right now. Right. Chevalier and Fire. Uh, the Liaos have moved away from the right side. Chevaliers are still there. But they're not going to do much on the right side. There are big Shenji bombs there going in. One, two, the Reapers, but they won't die from one unit there. <laughs> the trap, they will hit anything. Alright, Endgame is going in. They are moving in now. They're being careful on the bottom and making sure that those for the Russian Flamers can't do much on the uh, big tower there. Oh, they, they're getting their Flamers in position. Oh, but the Flamers are exposed from Endgame and they're getting killed quickly by the Shield Maidens. Nice pickup there. Shenji bombs being thrown both sides. 
Oh, oh look that at trap this. is nasty. Oh, yeah. That trap is very nasty, man. That's gonna hurt and gave him, I think. This might hurt. Alright, and he's oh. trying to push in a tower, but they just cannot get in there. Yeah, they actually got uh, got lucky, they didn't hit anything. Yep, exactly. They may have hit themselves. Jude Banger is cleaning house there with the flamers on the ground floor of Fortune of Goblins. And Gegner do seem to be maybe winning this fight at the top though. They've been getting in. They've Not cleared sure the flamers. The Senji snap. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna lose to Shenji in this fight of Watcher. are actually doing really well on the wall, surprisingly. Not always doing that well. A lot of heroes still alive, but most units have been gone uh, right now. Ein Heri coming yeah. up with this uh, Shenji, trying to make sure they can hold this yeah, they, high ground. They won the they won the wall, but uh, yep. they are out of units. They they can't push. Exactly. Uh, I feel like uh, they definitely want to maintain this position, but they like I said, they don't have the units. They need to retreat quickly, or they will lose another unit of Shenji here. Oh, this might oh, be. Maybe it's a good trap. That's a good trap if he, if he, really if he can bait them. Yeah. They saw it. They saw it. Oh, uh, yeah. They, 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 they. Reaper's taking a couple of hits. Oh, oh, okay. Still, okay. still got five or six of nice. them. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Alright, this is the. They're good. They, they need to punish now. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. And Tuckler Goblin may be a little bit too aggressive here, pushing them away after taking a win. All right, definitely a win here for Chocolate Goblin on the defense. Uh, another trap is going to come in. Ooh, that's a good hit on these Reapers. But they're tough boys. They will walk away uh, only losing four. Oh, Hein Harry actually jumping into the Shenji, but I don't think he got a lot of those. All right, look at this though. Anagagner is getting the high ground now. They're really with a lot of units there. There's not, nothing in the tower anymore. Yeah, nothing in the tower. They, yeah, they they will win that push on the wall. Yeah, it's very dangerous. It is. Chocolate goblins. Yeah, Shikalian doing a lot of work there. But look at Fallen and Patuli and Gilisho. They're trying to get into the tower once again with the flamers and the Fortabraccio and the shields. That's very bossy. Yeah, yeah. And Gagnar needs to be fast now. Yep. If they wait too much, they they might. Uh, Yeah, they definitely want to push this through, but they are they are getting delayed a lot by that tower. Uh, and some of them are already pushing for the final, but I don't think they are able to hold their ground there. Modao moving in though, so they may do quite a lot. Ooh, yeah, now, now it's a bit, a trap bit there. messy. Yep. Ooh. All right, fight on two fronts here. The big tower on the center is definitely a place that Endgame is holding really well, but they may not be able to hold this position at the final point. Although they're pushing back so back, pushing back May, pushing back A, like the trap yeah, didn't they, do enough. They like, managed to wipe yeah. them. They managed to wipe them. They did, they did. Limit bringing them, Ixom going down, and now also winning the big push at the uh, center tower there. Ein Heri getting in with his uh, Reapers. Oh, those big shields moving away, and <laughs> not even for the watch on the wall once again. It looks like a clean wipe from Chocolate Goblin again. Ooh, this trap might be bigger than the one before. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Nah, they oh, they saw, it, they saw it coming. Uh, Maybe yeah. a touch there. Oh, we can see the calf swap now. Uh, this here though. Uh, Fort Roger already though, F1 formation on the right side, so that won't get in. Or will it? Zeus now trying to create an opening? Nah, just, just trying to get his respawn timer there uh, yeah but i don't understand they they're pushing the the wall so so uh, so much mm -hmm. they're getting wiped over and over and they they keep insisting on that's all i don't understand why they change uh, the tactic a bit now mm -hmm. they they are forced to change because they have a lot of cav yep. yeah exactly and they, they have like 130 units less uh, some of them think may not even have a full unit anymore Yes, Zartos doesn't have a unit anymore. Uh, the others still do, but like you said, a lot of cat and there's also so many for the bright show on, on Chocolate Goblin. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, five units of for the bright show. And then also two Zars, Chevalier and a two cataphract. So looks like uh, Chocolate Goblin have the upper hand, but uh, yeah, like I said, surprising to see Engagner really desperately continuing to fight for that center wall there.
They haven't been going for the right gate, which was the one that Belia used against you uh, quite effectively to eventually get in and go for that final push. Yeah, the, the right uh, gate I see, they they always guard it with uh, one unit of fort and mm -hmm. one, uh, one, one shield. Yep. They never moved from that. So they couldn't use the, the calf. But they didn't use the left side uh, gate. No, not quite. For so. some reason. Yeah. They, they only used it to actually get into the tower and uh, try and get up. You see, like uh, I said uh, before we, we start, they uh, and Gagner are moving uh, together as a 15 man mm -hmm. group. They don't split. Yep. Yeah, you can have to see it. And the moment they split, they. You see them lose on at least one front yep. and then not able to really get back what they want. Right. Okay, so this time no Shenji. So there's only the muskets thrown bombs on uh, on the Ungegner player here. Right, they're slowly moving in. It's always nice to see Star Wars being at the front line again. It makes it easier to see where they are. Uh, but look at this huge fight here going to happen. Stalwarts full engage, Zikali Militia, big flamers there from Louis Senes. Sartre was trying to get in, Gabba with his Chevaliers trying to get in position. Frontline holding strong on both sides though. I don't think anyone's been able to get through, although big charge there from the Liao Ranger, but the Father Watch is stopping them. Where is the calf? Where is the calf? Oh, nice counter charge just as the endgame is trying to get in. And another wipe there from the cataphract. That's going to be a huge charge. Followed up by the Ewing to Zorus. I think that might be it. Uh, yeah. Although Chocolate Goblin also dropping hard in terms of the heroes, actually. 7 alive now for Endgegner, 10 alive for Chocolate Goblin. Big Cataphractor coming in from Sesper. He's actually cleaning a lot of these uh, units oh, nice, and heroes. Nice. Yeah. For the Bracho there. Oh, they're not doing anything oh, yet. Flames, big flames. flames. Yeah, big flames. Yeah. That was really good. Alright, so back. Gaba 9, they're all coming in here. Novelty being okay, on the point. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting, but. Uh, it is, it is. They thing. are outnumbered now. They should be, right? If these for the Roger come grace though, they can actually block it off. This flamer's doing work for uh, Chocolate Goblin. Big trap coming in. Might be a little bit too late though. Here comes the Zars, but that's being stopped. Very interesting to see this going on. Susna with the shield main is on the point. That might be able to clean some heroes, but Sensai and Musa go coming in as well to counter it. Flame still alive from Chalao. And looks like Susna will be alone on this point for Endgake and her Chocolate Goblin putting Pulling out the defense win here with only three minutes on the clock. Yeah. I think it's done. Yeah, this looks done indeed. Unless we get a really quick push with whatever's left there. Maclatory from J guys, that's not gonna work out. Susno did manage to get the kill against Sensei Mua, who brought the other shield maidens. Oh man. That was a big fight. Uh, Grace, what was it that you saw going on there? Uh, that was a big, big, big wipe. <laughs> yeah, in the end, it was sure was. Uh, the calf, uh, the calf, they, they used very good. Uh, the Chocolate Goblins used the calf very good. Mm -hmm. on, that, uh, on that push. Yeah, absolutely. You could see them going in one by one, right? Just making space for the other calf to go in as well. Are you surprised by what you're seeing right now from Chocolate Goblin? They seem to be really well coordinated, I feel. Yeah, they are. Alright, Chocolate Goblin is now giving space to Endgegner to get onto the wall. Of course, not yeah, that many they... units left, right? So you just want to hold, yes. the, hold the point now. They're out of units. Exactly. It's a bit impossible to win mm -hmm. like this. There are still five trebuchets okay. left. I think Oliver the Golden disconnected. Oh, yep. So 14 v 50 now. This might be still a chance for Endgame to get something done. Trap coming in, getting a couple of heroes, but nothing else. Let's see, Camera leading the front here. Slash main, protruded, trying to get in the back, following with the Winkosaurus, trying to get a charge in. 
Here comes the Martellatori, that's going to work out well. <laughs> Trebuchet in the back though. Yeah, the, I the think unit quality. Can be good. The trap can be good, but it's... Uh, ooh, a little bit far too back. Yeah, a bit behind. Oh, we just, okay. Ooh, that's a good one though. Ooh, nice, nice. What nice. has Andy got hits. left there? Oh, look at the point though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a huge monastic charge there on the point, but I think there's still enough units left for on Charlie yeah. Bowman to get back in there. Only six alive for M Gagner, oh. so this is going to be impossible with one minute left. Gaba and Color, they would have to pull out a miracle here if they want to get it done. Ainari and Amphetamine on the run. Drugs don't do you well. They may heal you, but they won't win you games. <laughs> Alright, Amphetamine, the last drop, GG's coming out. 40 seconds. And we can already conclude that this is the uh, first game for Charlie Goblin, uh, Chris. Uh, how was it? Uh, I, they seemed, Chocolate Goblin seemed uh, very organized, seemed like they 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 talked about the, the defense and uh, they're really good coordination uh, coordinated mm -hmm. yeah mm, i don't know and gagner seemed a bit uh, sloppy i mean they from my point of view they didn't had uh, any any other option if they they don't take the the wall mm -hmm. yeah exactly it looked like they had the one strategy in mind and if that didn't work they just yeah, yeah they yeah. didn't know what else to do right all right, Chocolate Goblin taking the win. Let's go over the uh, heroes here. Uh, Fallen picking up the M Fallen picking up the MVP for one twenty four. That's a lot of assists there. One twelve unit kills, but Louis Lusainis. Look at those hero unit kills. That's insane. One eighty one. Fifty one shield minus. Oh really? Oh, that's nuts. You don't see that every day. And fifty nine for Tabracho as well. Damn, that's a lot. Forty three shield minus for Fallen. Yep, hit it well. Uh, and Gegner played a lot of sh played a lot of shield maidens. Yep. I mean, yeah, they definitely did. Uh, also, a lot of reapers, I think. Mm -hmm. That's why the Varangian ban for the shield maidens. I mean, the the reaper buff c came after. Yep. Yeah, we didn't see many reapers from Chocolate Goblin's side. They were very happy. Just, they, they, but they, I, I really enjoyed uh, like Chocolate Goblin was always in a tower, right, with the with the setup with the Fortabaccio shields and flamers. And I think they were able to hold off like three against five or something. That was that was very efficient from them. Yeah, it's a very narrow space, and if mm -hmm. you have flames there, it's it's hard. It is very hard. All right, we can see the first fight, big win for Chocolate Goblin. The next fights were a bit closer, and then the last one uh, was actually a big win, of course, from Chocolate Goblin. The third fight was actually in favor of Endgegner, though. Uh, we could see them right getting on the point almost getting a couple, couple of capture points but uh, the 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 calf came in and saved the day from uh, from chocolate golden there right great game this one looking forward to the next uh Chris, not gonna lie to you yeah yeah <clears throat> uh i will put my money on chocolate goblins you will you will all right yeah I think rightfully so. What do you think they will do differently on the attack then, uh, if they want to win this one? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Just looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they how they will do it. Really have no clue. We'll just have to wait and see then. Um, they definitely had a really cool setup though for the defense. That was that was very impressive. Yeah, they. I don't know how many flames they got. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a lot. Yeah, they had a yeah, I think it must have been like four or five or something because uh, it just was a lot. And um, I, I do wonder. So you mentioned a couple times that uh, it was clear Endgame wants to fight together, right? S15. And I yeah, think as you saw it, as yeah, you saw it. <laughs> absolutely, we saw that happen a lot. And um, now I am thinking in the defense, this might be easier, right? Because we can see on the attack, you actually need to split it. You you need to engage from different sides on this final point if yeah, you want to get it. It depends on how Chocolate Goblins uh, plays. Mm -hmm. I think if Chocolate Goblins are uh, going to split, and, and Gegner will uh, will have a problem. Hmm. Yeah, it might be true. It will be very interesting to see if, if they manage to do it then, because we could see how 
easy those choke points are uh, are defended as well. So might be tricky. Might be tricky. I'm not for the 15 man push. I never was. I mean, I don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, it it can be it it can fail really hard and you you can lose like 300 units. Yep. <coughs> can lose massive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, on this map, I'm not sure. Yeah, exactly. And you always need, at least if you look at, look at all the like the field teams, they always seem to find ways to engage from different angles and just continue to um, not be in one place, basically. They will always make sure that if, if, if there's a front somewhere, they will find a way to get behind that one, create another front line and just continue to change the fight. And if you were just 15 stacked up, then you win hard or you lose hard. And uh, and they're just now losing, not hard, but definitely losing against Chocolate Golden. <laughs> um. Yeah, all right. All right, we'll be getting the teams ready. Um, the bands will be changed, by the way, for the next match. Okay. So let's check it out, what it is. So N Gegner banned Falconetti first on defense, uh, as we've seen throughout all the matches. And this time it's Sifonario banned by Chocolate Goblin. So Sifonario and? And uh, Falconetti. Falconetti, okay. Sifos. Sifos, yes. Nice ban. <laughs> it is a nice ban, and, and um, we saw how much uh, that unit did just now, so... Uh, let's see. You're not in the lobby yet, right? No, 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 you're still going there. No, no. Yeah, so... Lobby uh, yeah, lo your lobby's up, yeah, yeah. Alright, so Sifo ban. Uh, we know Falconati, don't need to talk about that, but Sifo is a different ban from the game 1. The game 1 Ferengian were banned, so... We can see teams picking up Ferengian now once again. Um, how do you uh, think maybe, this changes? Maybe, but not it? that many. I don't mm -hmm. think they will pick many Ferengians. Yeah. Yeah, we may be seeing more Reapers now, maybe. I think I did a, a bit of a mistake, and uh, when I do the, the unit setup, I put too many Reapers, even yeah. if the, the players are not not really familiar to play, play with them. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to follow the the meta, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it is yeah, what it is now. Yeah, it's always interesting, isn't it? Yeah. If the meta changes a lot, suddenly you want to play it. But sometimes you need to make sure you know. I how did to play it, it but uh, mm -hmm. some of the guys insisted. Uh, oh, reapers are so good, so good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Reason. It's like auto win right, and then blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> it just works differently sometimes. I agree, they are good, but. Uh, mm -hmm. You had like uh, one season playing shield maidens. I mean, you can master them. Yeah. And now you you play for a few days reapers mm -hmm. again, and uh, can can go bad. Exactly. You need to learn how to play them again. And also, we and I don't know if you've seen it, but I showed the video from Super Keto Witch before the match started. How reapers with flails can actually beat uh, Ferengian. Yeah, yeah, I know, I right? know, I know, I know. And because we've been playing reapers with swords uh, in season uh, season one, right, for Sea Rifles, so. It's, yeah. a, it's a big change in how you play them as well. Yes. It is. I mean, one one little mistake to, to forget to change them on flails and mm -hmm. you're, you're fucked. I mean, they are Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I remember always forgetting to change them, uh, like way before, uh, like when they were really old, right? When they just had the charge and not the ability. And then I would always charge them in and realize, oh, swords again, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just what happens sometimes. But yeah, flails are back for Reapers. I love that big, uh, big flail. It's so fun to see. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, interesting. I mean, the the meta it's it's okay now. Mm -hmm. it, it was a uh, it was a bit uh, too much with uh, all the cav before. Yeah, absolutely. But now I think it's uh, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Looking at, looking at those matches, it feels like a very healthy meta. Also, a lot of different uh, uh, different setups. We saw it, especially in your match as well, like it's against Stapelia, that uh, even incendiary archers being picked up, imperial archers, like lots of crazy uh, crazy units there. 
Yeah, I picked also uh, Imperial Archers, just tested today. Mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty good, but lost half of unit when we're, I, were, I was retreating from C. Ah, oh, damn mean, it. Yeah. I think today today game was the, the worst game for mm -hmm. me in CBR. Mm -hmm. Worst of the worst. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it always sucks when you lose your archers that quickly because, yeah. The Imperial Archers can do so much though, right? With the 2 ability. Yeah. They are very good. Very good. Yeah, they definitely are. All right, and taking is ready. So they, they, they wanna, they wanna get this game going. Tie up the score one to one. Chocolate Goblin taking their time to get into the lobby. Uh, gotta make sure they get in there though. Uh. All right. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. Um, I, I would really enjoy getting a... Uh... Yeah, what? Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to getting a Grasslands today. If, if, if not today, then hopefully next week, because it's always so much fun. Uh, it's an insane kind of map. Uh... I think it's a problem with Grasslands. Mm. If you create one map, you can have spectators, and uh, the one, the other one, when where you can have spectators, uh, the it's uh, CBR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you you need to choose one. <laughs> I think the CBR rules because we need to stream it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we'll have to find out later, but um, I, I believe it's the CBR rules if you uh, if you get in there. All right, all teams ready though, so let's just get this game going. Um, yeah, let's go. Game two, match point for Chocolate Goblin. If they get this win on the attack, they make it through to the semi-finals. And Gegner, legacy team for tournaments in the Western scene. So can they make it out alive here and go for the tiebreaker match in Westlands? We're going to have to wait and find out. Uh, greets. Once again, let me know what the units are and what are you seeing here. Varangians, that's for sure. Varangians, Varangians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a lot. That's a bit. Some Kev, not too much. Yeah, I'm not seeing that many Kev so, so far. A couple Jeflins, some Sikalian, of course. Uh, definitely a lot of Reapers on um, Elm and Gegner. Uh, and Gagnar gonna defend uh, BNC? Yeah, maybe, right? They're yeah, definitely yeah. starting at the front, so uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, uh, I mean... This will be really interesting if they do it. I think Chocolate Goblins have only one Hussars, that's mm -hmm. it's full infantry. Yeah, very interesting. Alright, this is going to be a good fight, guys. Uh, get yeah, yourselves yeah. ready. To be honest, to be honest, I want to uh, end Gagner to win so we can see uh, a game of, on Grassland. Yeah, right. But of course, we're totally unbiased. So, um, uh, GG, good games to both uh, teams. Let's get this going. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen here. It, it will be our last visit of Tour of Arles for today, though. So, make sure to enjoy this big view here. We will be back on the map, of course, next week. So. Let's see. All right, Trebuchet flying in, getting out of those artillery. We saw you doing it as well in the first game. Oh, Gaba, what are you doing down there? Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> oh, he was stuck. All right, check the goblin and let him go, though. Or do they? No, no, no. No, someone yeah, open the no. gate, let him in. <laughs> All right, Gaba's gonna run. I'm not sure where he's gonna go, though. He's gonna have to run around for a long time. Ah, he, he might be getting away. He can just jump off now, put up the ladders. He will have enough, enough time, I think. Oh, or will he? Oh, nice roll there. Oh, is he gonna get wrapped? Oh my god. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice intro. Got the way. Yep, just G -G. in time. G -G. Yep, GG. Alright, confirmed and getting away in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so def they defending. Okay. Yeah, it does look like it. Yeah, they're set up at the supply, right? So also set up at the gate. We can see Claymore, Ferengian, Shield Maiden with the Reapers. Um, even Star Wars here on the right side. So yeah, it does look like they're gonna be defending here. Breach is down. 
Tower's almost reaching. Veteran Ram is there. So all avenues are open for Chocolate Goblin to get into this uh, city. Alright, what do we look for then? Alright, so you guys also tried to hold inside the city. What are the weak spots here and where do you think Endgame should go? Or uh, weak spots? You, you don't have vision, you don't really know what they are they doing yeah. on the wall. That's, that, that's the, the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rotation is its hard because there's a lot of uh, buildings and so many things that can get in, in your face. Yep, exactly right. And you can, can't see them, you, that's uh, that's the biggest issue, you can't see them, you don't know uh, if they will rotate on the back supply or if they will come on uh, on the, the first supply. Mm -hmm. that's... Yeah, exactly. Alright, so we can see chocolate, oh my goodness, I didn't switch to the screen. Alright, I did switch now, so I'm sorry guys, just in time. <laughs> Alright, I didn't switch to the game, I just did now, so you didn't, you didn't miss anything, luckily. Other than Gaba <laughs> just getting away by being on the ladder, so oh my goodness, almost had the uh, deja vu from uh, season zero when we uh, missed the whole Grasslands battle with Blame Melios and uh, Eden. That was bad. All right, so we're back in. Um, yeah, it seems like they they were going, they are going to the back supply. I mean, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted uh, yeah. for them to do, but uh, they didn't. <laughs> they actually, they faked uh, push that and they, they got back into the supply and we didn't rotate fast enough. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, trap on that Varangian, so oh, nice trap. Yeah, that's a good one though. Uh, yeah, right, so 10 minutes on the clock right now, so... There is a lot of time, so Chocolate Goblin can definitely rotate and rotate. I like this back approach, because they can now actually use the traps. Okay, like the, 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 the defense threat is very similar. Mm -hmm. I mean, mostly identical, like what we wanted. Alright, so tell me, what are the defenders looking for right now? Uh, they're looking for uh, the attackers to get on the, on the supply and uh, push them from... Uh, from both sides and with uh, the cav from behind. Mm -hmm. You see they have some cav yep. behind. Exactly. Also the Frangian at the other supply sitting there as the, as the front line blocker I guess. Chapter Golden just waiting very patiently for the yeah, okay. to all sides there. They... Yep. And Gagner putting the, the shields there just for them to trap it. Mm -hmm. I like it here. Yeah, this is definitely making sure that Chapter Goblin He's only focusing on one direction. Fort Braccio okay. at two formation there. See, Looking now, at the back. Yeah, the cap comes them. in. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Look nice interrupt. Wall. Okay. Yeah, big engage here. Double Shenji on the wall over Chocolate Goblin, but the cap is getting through. The trebuchet might be coming in too late, although these Fort Braccio and F2 formation doing really well there. Holding off a lot yeah. of uh, Chocolate or from Endgame number Jacobs, making sure that that gets interrupted. Liao on the supply, going to okay. wipe the heroes. Yeah, and Gagner win the, the defense here. Yeah. Yep. And also Gaba making sure he gets on the wall with the shield maidens, cleaning all of those Shanji. His score is gonna be amazing at the end of the game. Uh, it's 10 10 though, so if and Gagner can somehow find. Oh, the trap is gonna hurt. Yep, that is gonna hurt. So if uh, Chocolate Goblin maybe delay this long enough, they can at least get another point before Endgegner is able to regroup. Okay, they, say they are still pushing. Yep. Endgegner needs to punish that unit man to kill that uh, <laughs> shield maidens and the, the Senjis, but they, they didn't saw them. Oh, now they see it. Yep, yep. Okay, now they're getting this supply, it's gonna be hard if they don't push them fast. Yeah, exactly. Now it's kind of the same situation where you guys were in. The supply is taken now, so they yeah, want to interrupt it though. Yeah, make sure some of the heroes don't have units and that way still take control. It's really going to be messy now. For the clan. For our chief. 
They need to retreat on the final point now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I agree. Endgegner should hopefully take the win that they have now. Assuming, of course, that they did get some of the, yeah. some more units there. Alright, they are retreating. He is being captured. Supply safe. Sobek still gonna kill, though. Units are pretty equal. Yeah. Yeah, they are. It's almost Let's identical, see. actually. Shield Maidens, some... Varangians, yeah. one Hussar. They have Varangians, two Varangians, three Varangians. Okay. They're so hard on melee now. Very, very hard on melee. I don't see any anti cav <laughs> from Endgegner. Yeah, no Fortis. <laughs> Full melee. Yep, it is, it is. Not from Endgegner, uh, from a. Uh, from Gomer, right? Yeah, yeah, Chopper Gomer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What to his horse there? And that's it, yeah. There's a Chocolate Goblin in red once again, and Gigger in blue. Chocolate Goblin, if they take this game here, they are going through to the semifinals. If N Gigger win this defense though, they will be fighting on a tiebreaker match against Chocolate Goblin right after this. And both of them could still go to the semifinals. Interesting to once again see that uh, the attacker is uh, ignoring the the right side. I mean, it's it's too hard to push up there, of course, but um, focusing on the left and the center once again. Okay. So and Gegner defending the wall. Okay, Chocolate Goblin's gonna push the wall with the heroes now. Mm -hmm. I think. Yep, just the heroes so far. Uh, it's risky. It is. It is. Yep, if you get there. bombed there, you can just fall off the wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, big hero push coming in through the left gate there. Oh, okay, they, yep. they, they, yeah, they diving in to yep. kill some of them. They just want to find it. Find the heroes, find the units. Also going in through... Okay, trap on the stairs. There. Oh, oh, oh yeah, he got wiped. Guilty got wiped, Sensei Miro also got wiped. Oh, Trebuchet might be good though. But not good enough. Uh, Killed some Fortis. Mm -hmm. We need another trap, but that's gonna, only going to come in a uh, couple of seconds. Jake has lost eight of his uh, Shanji, but I think that's the only real loss that uh, Anigikin took here. Uh, so they're pushing them out. Oh, these Imperial Shields might be getting picked up by. Uh, and again, they're pushing out very aggressively through the left gate. I wonder how far they will go. Morangian, very strong here. Shield main is so Iron Reaper is going to counter though. Ooh, Fallen taking out Sue Snow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it looks like losing some units there. Yeah, it looks like we're back to our original positions now. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good for Engegner now, to be honest. It's looking good. It is, it is. Small leads based on the units. But like, yeah, it's kind of similar to what we saw last game, right? Engegner on the defense, having this position inside the uh, the big tower. Um, just the Ferengian and Fortabraccio this time, not the Flamers, but still very efficient hold there. Chocolate Gomez don't get in. This might be a nice trap though. Yeah, might be. Ooh. Yep, that's a good hit on those uh, Jefflin Sergeants, but not the most important units you could take out. The, the problem here, uh, they don't punish them on the on the bridge, you mm -hmm. see? And Gegner needed to punish them on bridge, but... Uh, yep. Now, 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 now with the coconuts, yeah. yeah pretty good. Nice. Yeah, late, they're to be already burning the engage. They might have done it earlier, but yeah. Push is happening. Yeah, push is definitely going on there. Big uh, Shenji grenade there, but for the Watcher trying to get in, Reaper's already in the fight from Susno. 
Limit Breaker doing his best that he can there. Here comes the Chateliers with the new going to clean up house, I think. The yeah. tower is being destroyed though, so uh, Chocolate, Chocolate Goblin is going to get down on the tower. Look at them circling around and around and around. They're going to go down. They won't be able to see much though. <laughs> Here comes the Zars. Oh, for the Watcher didn't yeah. brace. Yeah, that, yeah, they managed, they managed. Oh, oh Gaba coming in with the Chevaliers. This, this is going to be nice. good for him. The Chevalier play there, it's uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. I think he did, did a lot of kills. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Not sure how to look. Yeah, uh, we can, if you press space and just go to the one hero, then uh, our one unit, then you can see how many you got. Uh, Gaba, 50 unit kills right now. Oh, he gets taken out though. So definitely did a good job there. Yeah, 15, let's go. Alright, Chocolate Goblin have got the uh, push still going. Trebuchet coming in, okay. prediction. Oh, fuck. That's gonna be... That's gonna be a big hit, maybe. Oh, those... oh big hit on the Modal. Star's also taking another hit. Oh, Shanji countering though. They retreated. Yeah, it looks like they are not confident in holding this position, but they're losing their units now. Oh, nice Shenji from the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, they're gonna lose so much. Oh, oh this is gonna hurt. Look at Sus now. He was just jumping in the back to make sure they got delayed even further. Oh, Chocolate Goblin losing so many units. Nice trap though on the Shenji. They continue to pull out great traps, but it's not enough. Imperial Shields also getting in there. Trying to create a yeah, flank, but... that's impossible. Oh, here comes the Frangian though. Alright, so Chocolate Goblin is still able to control some of the wall there. But look on the left there, uh, Andy have been pushing out very they, aggressively, they, but they, they might be overreaching here. They need to push harder. Yeah, they need to go hard they... or go home. Yeah, yeah, they hesitate a bit. That was a big claimer charge against Reaper charge. I wonder who will come out on top there. Oh, counter resource. Oh, this might be the chance for uh, Chocolate Goblin. If they can wipe the heroes there, they might have a couple of seconds chance because it's five heroes yeah, down now for Endgame. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah. Yep. Oh, look at that gate. They close the gate. They close the gate. Oh yeah, my goodness. Yeah, they will destroy it. Yeah. Quick destroy enough. It. Yeah. Oliver the Goblin is going down though. Modao, brace position. May delay a little bit. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, look at this. Yeah, the push is coming in from Chocolate Goblin. They came in from uh, from the center there. No. Oh, three arrows down, and Gagan is coming back. Chocolate Goblin still delaying them. Really nice traps once again. Oh, their units. Will they be quick enough? Oh, so many Imperial Shields though. Triple Imperial Shields. If one unit of Cataphrax comes in, then maybe... Oh, the triple for the Bracho there, Shenji behind it. This might be a close... Uh, uh, this is close, man. This is close. This might be really close. Oh, look at this. Huzar from Patuti, they're coming in. Oh, oh this for the Bracho, you're gonna get to do anything. Huge yeah. charge, yeah. Countering with the Cataphrax, though. Countering with the Huzar from the oh. right side. Oh, what a mess. It's, it is. Well, the Fort Braccio. Five heroes down from Gagnon. Four heroes down from Chocolate Goblin. Oh, Chilau getting another kill. Big Abel killing Camera. And Gagnon. It looks like they're dropping harder than Chocolate Goblin are. The Chocolate Goblin making sure to clean the arrows on the point as well. Frangian coming in from Slash Main. That will be doing a lot of work there. Still, double Fort Braccio and double Shield Maiden sitting at the stairs. Oh, it looks like this is done. Yeah. Oh, Chocolate Goblin may have got it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Gaba. they got it. They got, they got still going to get on there. Same for Xander, but they got the lockdown there. The Fort Braccio, the Imperial Shields. Nothing is going to get through there. Amphetamine is going to get some really good drugs on the point if he wants to make this happen. Oh, he's just going to delay it. It's done. Our team is about yeah. to capture the final flag. What a match, Chocolate Goblin coming back from defeat after their regular season. Here to bring down Engegner. 
the CBL champions from way, 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 way back. Seaford just trying to delay it even further. Jake has, but it's not going to go for 3 minutes 30. There we go. Chocolate Goblin 2-0. Wow. Oh. Seems we don't see a field. Oh, yep. Oh, we won't see a field better today. Yep. Oh man, look at Fallen. Mm -hmm. 8 kills, 25 assists. Yep. 93 unit kills. Yep. He, he's, he's, he's been performing huge. He was also MVP in the first game. Oh man. I feel like Endgame threw that game with that push. Uh, yeah. They did? I think, yeah. Oh. yeah. The push was good, but they, they hes hesitate a bit. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they. Chocolate Goblins uh, managed to reinforce. Yeah, exactly. And then they went to Zars came in and they just wiped it. Oh man. I didn't see that coming. I was absolutely thinking Endgame had yeah. it there. Me too, me too, but I see one one mistake. Yep. Oh man. Alright, well, let's go over uh, some of the guys who did really well because look at Chocolate Goblin. 8 hero kills, 10 hero kills from Jude Banger also. Jude Banger was also performing really well in the first game from them. Uh, great to see an NA team actually making it through. Uh, there's not that many anymore, so it's always amazing to see them actually be able to, to perform on the tournaments. Oh man. Alright, uh, so Beck continues to do what he did during the regular season, but uh, this is the end of their run. Um, he's the MVP for Endgegner, 334, 99 unit kills. Aina Heri, I also saw him doing really well all the time. Same for JK's with the huge unit, unit kills there. Oh, let's look at the both battle analysis. Yeah, Endgegner was leading, look at the... Yeah. They're just winning first fight, winning second fight. They're winning. Yeah, they're, they're winning, exactly. Was... They had it. Oh man. Oh, this is going to be so rough. Yeah, the, uh, oh, this is it. Will be rough <laughs> yep. internally, they will have uh, discussions. Yeah, yeah, you would expect so. Oh, my goodness! All right, I'm not sure what uh, what happened there. The the, the push call, or uh, mm -hmm. the guys that they didn't follow, or the push call come too late, or yep. I don't know. Yeah, Whew. actually sorry, feel sorry for them. Yeah, I kind of do, right? Uh, I don't know wh where to look right now. Um, I'm going to see if, if if someone from them actually wants to have a chat with us because, oh, that was insane. I'm pretty sure that the NA boys want to want to join and have some fun because they must be, they must be really